Hi guys, this is Sajna Benel and welcome to the Business Analysis Guide. In this video, we'll talk about data flow diagrams. In order to keep it simple, I've taken the example of a very simple data flow diagram for beginners. I will do a separate video for a complex data flow diagram. So before we get started, if you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button to receive more of my videos. So let's get started. So what is a data flow diagram? A data flow diagram shows the flow of data or information within a system. So it is a graphical way of showing how data is actually going to flow within your system. So let's see what are the notations used in a data flow diagram. So with respect to symbols or notations, you will see uh, two types of uh, notations being used uh, worldwide. One is the Gain and Sarsen notation and the other is the Jordan and Code notation. So there are uh, some slight differences between the symbols that are used in, in both these structures. Gain and Sarsen notation uses a square shaped symbol to depict a process, whereas Jordan uses a circle to depict a process. Data stored pretty much remains the same. It has just has an extra line included in case of gain in SARS in, uh, notation. External entity is uh, depicted using the same symbols in both the notations. Uh, data flow arrows are shown using the same symbol in both the notations. So you can use either of these, uh, you can follow either of these notations as it is followed in your project. Uh, in this example, we will follow the Jordan uh, notation. So if you are a beginner to data flow diagrams, I suggest as a first step, you should write a textual representation of the end-to-end -end process. A textual representation of the process helps you identify who are the external entities, what is the process involved, what are the data stores, and how exactly the data is flowing between them. So let's uh, look at this with the help of an example. So step one obviously is to write down a quick summary of the process. So here we have taken the example of a customer withdrawing money from the ATM. So the customer inserts a credit or debit card and enters PIN number in order to withdraw cash from the bank. Upon verification, the customer selects the amount to be withdrawn and clicks on proceed. The transaction is processed, which means the business rules are verified and the customer receives cash. A receipt is printed for customer and his account is debited. So let's identify what are the external entities in this process. So as it's quite obvious from uh, this process, the, there are two external entities involved, the customer and the bank. Now let's identify what are the processes involved. The customer inserts a credit card, debit card. Inserts a credit card, debit card is a process. Enters a PIN number is another process. Transaction is processed. That again becomes one process. Transaction getting approved is another process. Customer receives cash is another process. Receipt is printed and account is debited. So we have identified these important elements in the procedure. Let's put, now let's put a data flow diagram in place. So first I have placed the two external entities on two ends of the diagram because obviously they will access the systems at access the system at two different times okay so customer bank both in square shaped boxes i will now try to put the processes uh, together customer inserts card he then enters the pin number and the pin number is verified the customer enters the amount and the transaction is processed when the transaction is being processed, it means a request is sent to the bank. Now, once the bank approves the transaction, the customer will receive cash and the receipt will be printed. And simultaneously, the bank database will be updated, which means his account will be debited. So this is a very simple data flow diagram, which will make you understand what are the symbols and how you actually need to articulate the flow. Once you are well-versed with simple flows like this, you can start developing much more complex data flow diagrams. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.